thank you all very much for being here today. And at the same time, I know that Pat, under the leadership of Patty, uh, MFM has been able to progress so much linking not only Hollywood, with Hollywood, but also with Canada. In the past, we've had countries like India, uh, Bollywood, and uh, we're basically all over the world. So uh, I would like to, for you to take advantage of this opportunity to link with the rest of this world in your industry. And at the same time, uh, notwithstanding the strike going on, which I hope will be resolved soon. And at the same time, uh, funny thing is we're having an artificial intelligence panel downstairs. And I know there's been an uproar about it recently in the industry. So we're trying to understand that too from the business perspective. Thank you all very much. Enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you. Um, and I also like to reiterate that uh, JL, as you know, is the co-founder with me of, of LMFM, and he's also the creative director and the genius uh, behind MMFM. And um, we, we've been concentrating with the UK and with Spain. Uh, we just started working with Spain, but I'd like to recognize, you know, before we start officially, uh, Adrian Wooten, uh, Chief of Film London, and uh, the BFC, who just arrived last night. So he just took time from his super busy schedule to come in and support us. So Good thank you, everyone. Thank you. Yay. Thank you, Patty. And of course, uh, my genius is your genius, so you're a genius as well. Uh, and how we were able to, to put this together. And we just had a, a really interesting producers panel where we talked about just that, right? It's using the creative core of our industry, right? Which is where everything starts. And then figuring out new and exciting ways to get people to tell their stories. Uh, and one of the best ways to tell stories, as we all know, is, is animation. Uh, and we know that, you know, this country uh, has a great history in animation, but also uh, there are amazing animation hubs all over the world, uh, particularly obviously in London and the UK. And so we're very excited to officially launch this program today. Okay, I, you're dismissed, Patty. No, I, I'm behind the scenes. Make sure you take the syllabus. It'll be a test later. Yeah. <laughs> I have a good start. Okay, so going right on down the list here, uh, we would like to welcome uh, first, of course, uh, we mentioned Mr. Robert Smith from Career Source. If you'd like to come up and just say a few words. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you for coming out. Thank you for inviting us here today. Um, I usually start out with this, you know, very easy question. Like, how many people in the room actually like to pay taxes? But this is <laughs> so I'm the only one. Y'all laughing at me? That's how y'all gonna treat your brother today. <laughs> okay, so we got one. It's two of us. Uh, but oftentimes we pay those taxes and then we don't really pay attention to what happens to them after the fact. Well, that's what, this is your tax dollars that work right here. Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act is your tax dollars <laughs> that are coming back to the community for economic development to build talent pipelines like this to keep the talent right here in Miami-Dade County and get them gainfully employed and get them employed at a, at a living wage rate that you can actually afford to live in Miami-Dade County. Mm -hmm. and so that's what we do at Career Source South Florida. We're very happy to be here, very happy to partner. And you know whatever your business needs are, look at your local workforce board. You've paid for it. Anybody's going to take advantage of it. Excellent. Also, uh, we are going to move right along and welcome uh, another very key strategic partner in this. Uh, uh, of course, we have uh, Maurizio Ferraza here, who is uh, the chairperson at MAGIC, and who will also introduce Dr. Beatrice Gonzalez, uh, the Wilson president, who is here as well. So, Mr. Ferraza, take the stage. So, at MAGIC, our mission is super simple. It's uh, always has been jobs. So uh, we have the task of teaching our students a skill that will make them employable. And uh, I need to thank Green uh, Restaurants uh, South Florida, uh, Jose, Patty, for putting this video together. It's amazing. Um, but on behalf of Miami College, I'd like to introduce you our Wolfson Campus resident, Dr. Beatriz Gonzalez, 
Um, so I'm going to say, how am I going to get will support this initiative? Thank you so much. very much. Uh, thank you all for being here for this announcement. It really is very exciting for this group of organizations to come together to support workers here locally. So Chemical, MFM, uh, Miami-Dade College, and Career Source South Florida really creating some connective tissue for workers. And what do I mean by that? And I can illustrate it through a, another example at the college having to do with STEM. Uh, so science, technology, engineering, and math. We're certainly trying to encourage our students into those fields, fields that sometimes people are a little afraid of. And through the help of a grant uh, that's helping us do some extra activities besides the actual classes that students take, we're doing a lot of work in career development, helping the students network in their profession, helping them know what to do once they get to that first job so that they fit in and they do good work. Because what our students told us was, we want to do that, we want to network, we want to know what to do when you get there, but we're a little afraid. And we're not sure we could do it by ourselves, we really want some help. And so what this grant allowed us to do, similar in a second while I'll talk about this project, is we partnered with a biotech company locally, and we're doing an internal internship at the college. And the biotech company folks come to the college every two weeks and they meet with our students on real projects, on an internal internship. The stress and scariness of it has gone way down here. And so now the students can really learn. They can see what would be expected of them on a biotech team. They can really focus. All the fear, all that complication is gone. Similarly, with this partnership, we're again creating that connective tissue that really supports people. How do you get your foot in the door? How do you get started in animation and gaming? And this incentive program will really help people do that. And so it will connect employers all over the world, companies all over the world with people locally with talent. And then when they're here at Miami Day College, we will help the students learn, refresh on tools maybe they haven't used in a while. But because we'll be working in concert with the company that's hiring them, we will find out their exact need. What kind of a worker do you need there at this company? Who succeeds at your company? What kind of work is needed? And so they'll be very specifically guided in the relationship with that company. And so I think it really solves a, a missing piece that we needed for people who really just don't know how, how to get started. And the other thing I'll say about something that's sort of unique about South Florida, a lot of the people in the communities of South Florida are from communities that uh, prioritize family, prioritize their community. And so they don't want to move 1,000 miles away. They don't want to move 3,000 miles away. They want to be near Abuela so they can help her when she needs to go to the grocery that she can't cook for herself. These are important values. And we can make it happen with connections like this. And that's why it's such a smart idea. It gives everybody what they need. It gives the workers what they need, the people who create the content, the companies what they need. We love to teach at Miami-Dade College. That's our purpose, to help people align with their purpose. So it really comes together, and we certainly appreciate Career Source South Florida, who partners with the college on many projects, um, to be fueling this project that really um, you're going to see leaps and bounds in terms of these connections. So I'd like to thank uh, Patty, even though she's not here, who ran off, uh, Patty Arias and Mauricio Ferraza, because they're really the masterminds of this and constantly thinking of how they could put something together that really works for everybody. Um, so I think you're going to see a lot of exciting things, a lot of exciting content produced through this partnership. And you. Thank you so much, Dr. Gonzalez. Those are great words. Uh, and yes, I, I try to take care of my abuelita in Hialeah, so that's super important. Uh, and also super important is uh, we'd like to welcome a, a true friend and partner, uh, not just in animation, but in MMFM. Uh, and a lot of the work that we do internationally really started and, and was truly inspired by the work of Film London and Adrian Wooten and Helen McKenzie, who's here as well, uh, and the British Film Commission. And it's really been... Uh, an apprenticeship for us to learn from you guys because you are among the best in the world that does this and you've been doing it so well for so long and so <clears throat> thank you first for that uh, and for your partnership but uh, I'd love for you to come up and say a few words. Adrian Wooten, Chief Executive of Film London. Uh, Thank you Dr. Well thank you Joe for those pretty kind words. It's lovely to be back here. Uh, 
in Miami and and um, and, and being part of the market uh, again. Um, you know, we've been involved. I think you know, pretty much. Well, not not far after its inception. So it's it's really lovely. And, and on behalf of uh, you know one of your international partners, I guess what I should say is I think this is a fantastic initiative, and I really want to congratulate you and all of the partners for for pulling this together. <laughs> So I want to congratulate you for this really uh, amazing initiative. Um, I know because uh, and my colleague Helen and I, we, we actually bought a delegation of animation uh, companies here um, very recently. You know, yeah. uh, worked in partnership with the market. Um, animation is very important to the UK uh, film industry um, and television industries. It's also gaming is also very important. We have our own games division, Games London, as part of Film London's activities, and so. We are only too well aware of the growth um, and the interest in those industries. And this also, there's two brilliant things which this initiative absolutely plays into is that one is those industries are doing nothing but getting more and more popular because people love animation and the convergence between animation skills and game skills is so clear to see. And all other aspects, I mean, you mentioned Unreal Engine and the way in which that's influencing film production, the film production technology, the virtual production. So these are the skills of the future. These are the skills that will keep people in jobs and careers for many years. And they're not going to, actually, they're not going to be removed by AI. And so, so this is a really future-looking, positive initiative. Also, the fantastic thing is animation and games are largely not affected by strikes. They're carrying on. They're working you know, <laughs> fully. And the great thing, and you were talking about communities, is you can work remotely with animation and games. Animation and games, you can work from anywhere in the world, which is why we're quite pleased to be a minor part of this, insofar as the fact that we hope that some of the companies that we work with in London will want to, and we will definitely going to be promoting this as an opportunity to work with some of the cohorts you're developing, so that we will have an, a partnership where people and companies working on animation in London can work with some of the young people that you are training and skilling up here. That's what we hope to be able to do with you. That's what we want to do with you. I mean, it's, 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 I mean, I was actually coming over on the plane. I was watching, because I had a chance to see it at the cinema, Super Mario Brothers, and the phenomenal success of that movie. We have the world premiere at uh, the London Film Festival in a few weeks' time of the amazing Arvin movie, Chicken Run, uh, produced with, with Netflix. You can see examples of these fantastic programs and movies being made all the time. And there is such an interest in them. I think you are heading into a fantastic sweet spot with this initiative. So congratulations, and we look forward to working with you on it. Thank you very much. All right, well said. So uh, yes, that is pretty much uh, what we wanted to discuss with you guys today, uh, I know that you may have some questions uh, for either the panel, if that's okay, uh, and then I can answer a lot of questions as well. So, uh, but before we get into that, the basic 411, you can see sort of our initial flyer with all the basic information. So obviously, uh, two things that we need for this program to work, of course, are the amazing animation projects, which, as Adrian said, could be from London, could be from Spain, could be from anywhere. Uh, we had Joe Menendez, could be from outer space, doesn't matter. Uh, as long as you have an animation project, you can access Miami Talent and take advantage of the training and the incentive that we just spoke about. But obviously, equally as important are the Miami animators. So we're doing a major outreach uh, in partnership with the college and with our organization uh, to reach out to as many local animators as possible. So if you are one or if you know of anyone in the animation field that is looking for work, that is looking for an exciting new opportunity, uh, then we would love to hear from you. There is an official email right now called info at creativesmiami.com, uh, which you can send all of your information, whether you have a project uh, that needs animators or whether you are an animator and looking for new opportunities, uh, which is a preview of what's to come. Uh, we, we have a website we're developing called creativesmiami.com. And so this is where you'll be able to uh, house the database of the local animators and gamers uh, so that the international studios can get a real sense uh, based on their portfolios as to who's available in our community for certain projects. And so once that's live, uh, if you are an animation producer or studio, you will be able to see the level of talent that we have to offer locally as well. But in the meantime, you can just email us info at creativesmiami.com 
And so now I want to turn it over to our Miami creatives and see if there are any questions before we wrap up our animation summit. So does anyone have any questions for me and or the panel? <coughs> yeah, to the back. Thank you. Uh, Johannes Kivis of Miami Tech Works. Uh, I wanted to know if you're looking for animators of all levels, junior, senior, of all kinds, or does someone particular? All across the board. Uh, obviously, you know, as we mentioned, this is a team project. Uh, you know, the, the main focus initially will be, as we mentioned, on the training, so more for junior level positions uh, that will have some supervision as they gain the skill sets to grow in their field. Uh, and so, you know, you guys can go ahead and, and jump in there as well uh, in terms of, you know, uh, anything that you want to relate to that. But, you know, really, I think uh, to make this project work, we right now we're just looking for all skill levels to either, uh, you know, do the training, come in in a junior position, or be a leader or a mentor on a team as well. Yes. Hi, my name is Armando Pasto. And my question is if they also look for content. For content. Oh, content. Yes. Are you, you mean like finished content? Like a uh, script, uh, things like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, so no, this this would not be, uh, this is not a development program, so this would be uh, only for fully financed animation projects that are in the production stage. In other words, looking to hire uh, local animators and technicians to create the deliverables for your project. So this is an employee-based uh, incentive program, uh, not a development program. So you do have to be sort of a fully funded project to participate. Any other questions? Yeah. I don't know if I can ask if I'm the cameraman, but I was just wondering, um, so. Just one, Adam, just okay. one. Okay, <laughs> yes, sir. Um, with regards to how you're, you're saying you're modeling a lot of your stuff after London's program, what is, is there anything specific you could name that, you know, that you, that Miami has in common with London or that you're, you're specifically basing off of, you know, Mr. Uh, Mr. Wooten's yeah. idea, like, what are some things that you're specifically following? Right, so it, it definitely was inspired by our relationship and as Adrian mentioned that we had this amazing delegation of UK Animation Studios that visited us last summer uh, and that's really where the Jerma Ball has started to really be, uh, uh, really start to, you know, develop. So we had this great fam tour, so we took uh, the animators from the UK to Magic uh, we brought them to some of the local animation studios, some of the work you saw here, like Team Legend, who's in Wynwood. Uh, we also went to see iCartoons, which is an amazing Colombian company that's based here in Miami now uh, that does a lot of work for Paramount Gro Global and Nickelodeon. And so that's really what started this idea uh, of being able to work remotely, access talent from anywhere in the world, and work in these global teams to create this content, uh, uh, you know, really for, for animation and gaming. But Adrian, if you want to jump in and talk a little more about what you guys do in, in London as well. Yeah, I, I think, I mean, that, I think that you summarized that very well, Jail. I think, I think the, it, the, also the, what I was saying and the remarks there is that we know that there are shortages in the animation and games industry uh, all over the world. Um, uh, and um, we've been working on identifying and trying to uh, help resolve skill shortages amongst production crew. <laughs> And it's now, in a sense, moved to animation, and um, because of the demand of animation and games, we've been doing work on that, and we talked with JL about that as a as a kind of opportunity, essentially, of knowing that there are skills at entry level, there are skills at mid level, there are skills at quite senior levels, and any and, and I guess what we did was say, well, there's an opportunity here. There's an opportunity for the talent that you have, for for the organisations like Magic to be able to help start to fill that talent. I think that was the connectivity. We, we, we kind of said, look, there is an opportunity if you guys can put a bracket together, and lo and behold, they put a bracket. <laughs> <laughs> Ask and you shall receive, my friend. Uh, so yes, that, that is very well said, Adrian. Thank you for that. Thank you. Uh, any more questions? Uh, so the, it's, it's selected candidates that are, that are getting the specialized training. So these are graduates from Magic. Right, so these are these are students that are attending Magic. These are students that have graduated Magic, and then if there's an additional skill that's needed, they go back to Magic. Right. Correct. Are, are yeah. So pulling students out of Magic, or it's, or it's just graduates. No. Yeah, we are concentrated, and and Marisa, you can jump in there, but mainly for graduates that already have at least their two-year degree, uh, but also outside animators as well that may have, as I mentioned in the video, studied on their own but they would still be able to receive the additional training uh, through magic. 
Yeah, the, the program is for everybody. You don't have to be a graduate from Magic. Anyone in Miami, the county, Miami, in the city of Miami, would like to be part of it can apply or can uh, upload once the website is live. The work, the resume to the to this portal, and then employers will select the candidates. Once that's done, then the on-the-job training component kicks in. Right. So let's suppose that you know, film leather needs 10 animators and they need them to really, really focus on character animation. And then the on-the-job training component will be them and magic and we will help those individuals you know, with whatever task they are, they, they have been assigned during the day. So we'll be there like a, a we already do that at Magic, like every, every student that gets a job out of the, the program, I mean, six months, we've got to provide them with some assistance. This now is going to be part of their hiring uh, package. So they get a job and uh, additional training, which will be, you know, facilitated at Miami the College and at the Magic Center. One of the things that, that we haven't talked about is that uh, not only, you know, uh, uh, individuals in Miami, they don't want to move, but also a lot of them, they just cannot afford to move. <laughs> if, you, if you think about if land is expensive, Los Angeles, San Francisco, they're 10 times more expensive than Miami. The genius about this partnership is to provide opportunities for individuals that cannot, you know, uh, move from our community. The chances of having a job in the industry, and that's really, 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 really uh, uh, fantastic. Also because, <coughs> The animation and gaming community, historically, they're, they're not very diverse. So they got well, that the contribution that this city can can you know uh, bring to to this industry uh, industries is really 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 fantastic. So uh, that's a huge component in my view. Uh, that yeah, and our contribution uh, when we start hiring our talent, which is totally diverse, it'll it'll be awesome as well. Thank you. Great question. Uh, okay. Over here? Yeah, one quick question. I'm a local filmmaker. Uh, now I'm kind of outside the realm of animation, um, but I was, uh, you know, I've had my ear to the ground a little bit, and there's been a lot of talk of uh, these exposés or sort of these revealing looks at these animation studios and how they, they, they are responsible for a rash of abuses of, uh, in terms of like the, uh, uh, you know, working the animators really, really hard and right. stressing them. And, and there's all sorts of the, the I mean, for the, perhaps the reason for the, the job shortages. So I'm just wondering if there's any levers for, you know, dealing with, with uh, those potential abuses for those students who, who go on to work at, at, in the industry. Well, that's an interesting question. So obviously, you know, they will, these will all be local hires. So the production entity will be based in Miami and has to follow all the laws and the regulations <laughs> of hiring any employee in Miami-Dade County. Uh, and obviously, Robert, you, you deal with the career source, so you know that there's a strict vetting process. And you also, you know, have a hand in working with these companies to make sure that they are, you know, doing what they said they would do and delivering on that, correct? Yes. Um, as, as a part of what we do, so I'm just going to use round numbers. So let's say for their project, they were going to hire the 10 animators and pay them, you know, $25,000 each for the project. So their overhead would have been 250 k um, Career source, our reimbursement portion for the on-the-job training may be 50%, may be greater. So I'm going to cut his labor in half to 125 with the hopes that he takes that 125 savings and comes back and hires 10 more students. But as a part of the monitoring of that, as required by federal law, I'm going to be um, conducting site visits. So I'm going to be looking at what they're doing. Um, they they are actually get almost like a lesson plan, <laughs> where um, where um, there's a list of competencies that they're going to be achieving doing that on the job training. Because the, the part of on the job training is not getting free labor. It's about taking a person from this level and ensuring that they get to this level. So we find out those competencies they're going to achieve during that time frame, and then those who are instructing them have to sign off on them every week. So we follow up on what they're doing, how they're doing. Um, we also monitor as far as ensuring they get paid, they turn in their payroll registry. All these things have to happen, have to be green lighted before they get the reimbursement. So that's kind of our way of, of you know, watching over things and, and trying to catch 22. And, and if they do, like in the apprenticeship program, we have an apprenticeship, well, Doc has apprenticeship at my students, that actually, you know, on the phone with the, the students all the time, checking up on them, making sure that, you know, the program is going along the way it should be. And as you say, watch no things. Yeah, no, that's great. Well, very well said. So uh, good question. And uh, we have time for a couple more. Just have a yes, sir. If I could just do a follow-up. So, so let's say I bring a project and I want to hire animators. 
near my mm -hmm. and I have a specific scene or two scene. How are the candidates selected? Like, what, like how am I looking? So I say to you, I, I'm doing a 2D scene and I need da 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 da. Who selects the candidates that then I'll ultimately be watching reels? Right. So, so we will be doing the initial vetting process of collecting the uh, again the animators with their specializations, with their skills, their portfolios, their reels, and then we would be basically working together with, in your case, let's say the studio uh, that has obviously a specific set of deliverables and timeline for that and a budget, yeah. and then creating a, an arrangement between uh, the studio that has the project and with the timeline deliverables, matching them with the local team that will be able to deliver. So it's almost like a production services agreement, essentially, mm -hmm. where you're hiring a local production services company uh, in Miami-Dade County to deliver on uh, what your needs are for your specific project. But it would be a team effort. So you would be involved in, all right, you know, this is the team. And then also working with Magic to create the customized training program to make sure that if they are missing a certain skill set, that they will have that by the time they actually start on the job as well. So and then they'll be receiving process. training throughout as well. Yeah, so it's like a casting process. We're, we're Essentially, yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Thank you. Of course. Yep. Yes, uh, my name is Elsa Cruz. So I have a question. Uh, they say there's a production company, and you guys have the website and choose a talent. The production company, from what I heard you say before, they're gonna get an incentive and they're gonna get their money back. Not all of it. But so how, it, much, it, how much are they gonna get back? It, it is up to forty percent, I believe, okay. is the number that we're estimating for the first six months of their employment. So for the first six months, if you're paying, let's say, I don't know. I'm horrible with math. I used to be good. 20 bucks an hour, right? You, you can do the math. Uh, so you're hiring uh, an animator at $20 an hour, uh, and then you'll receive 40% of that $20 for the, an hour, for, and it has to be full time. So you have to hire them you know, around 40 hours a week. Uh, and for the first six months, they would receive that rebate back. Uh, it, it's a, a cash reimbursement. Right, a reimbursement. So you have to have the money up front Correct. to hire the individual, and then after we go through all everything, then you, correct? Correct, but it's, it's not a long wait. Um, the way it's set up, you literally um, could pay, you know, your, the, the folks on Friday, submit the documentation on Monday, and get an HCA's transaction back for that reimbursement probably by the following Monday. And what sort of paperwork in turn for what you need from that production company? What sort of so it's, it's all the normal employee paperwork, but you can get into more detail in terms of the, you know, the W-2s and all that stuff, and the pay stubs and all that kind of stuff. You, you can, they're they're yeah. your employees, so you would do all your normal onboarding in which you would do. The only thing you would be turning in to me would basically be payroll registry proof that you actually pay them. There you go. Very simple. Uh, any more questions? Yes. I guess I'll ask a question um, on the opportunity side. Uh, just so I understand how to uh, mm -hmm. relay uh, the answers uh, to some people uh, that have approached me about this, but um, I've been approached by um, exec uh, Hollywood executives about looking specifically for Latino animators. Mm -hmm. So how could I direct them, uh, you know, to this, to you guys or to you know the people that are coming out of your program? So there's an email, info at creativesmiami.com. I think there's a few Hispanic animators in Miami, if I'm not mistaken. We might have a couple. <laughs> but yes, there's a, there, we do have a pool, and if they're specifically looking for a certain type of talent, yeah. then they can just reach out to us, and then we can coordinate with them and just say, look, this is who's available, and this is you know sort of the, you know, the, the mechanism for how it works uh, in terms of the business side of it and the budget and the scheduling and all that kind of stuff. And then we would, again, work as a team to identify the local animation talent that fits their needs. And what was the email address? Info, or? it's, it's up here. Oh, right here. It's okay. kind of small. It's on the screen, but it's I info at creativesmiami.com. And that goes with the diversity uh, component, right? Uh, we get well, uh, requests weekly uh, or every month from, from studios in uh, California. You know, but th that's why this is so important, this program. You want to give the chance for these individuals to work now. Because they, you know, most of them, they just cannot relocate uh, and go to LA and see if they get a job. So uh, that's the genius of this partnership. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. One more question over here. So first of all, congratulations on the vision. I think because it's putting forward Miami in a way that we have the talent, but maybe previously we haven't really been able to tell the story to bring companies from 
many places in the world to get the talent here. So my question is more for Career Source of Florida. I understand there are multiple ways to work with uh, Career Source of Florida, but to make this partnership effective, it needs to be streamlined for companies. It needs to be easy. It needs to be, you know, cannot be too complicated because if not at the end, there is lack of connection between the talent and the company. So my question is, how do you plan to make it seamlessly effective for company? Um, well, basically, the OJT agreement is about a, and even double space, maybe a two-page contract. Um, and you know, one of my staff will come over. They would do a site visit, and we'll walk you through it. You sign here, cross there, put a hex there, and you're done. It literally takes, you know, maybe 45 minutes on, on the high end. That's answering questions um, for a company to do an OJT contract. And then again, as far as the uh, reimbursement, it's all electronic. You submit your, your documentation via email. It's looked at, reviewed by finance. If anything's missing, they'll call you say, hey, I need this. You submit that, and the ACS transaction back to you for a reimbursement. Thank you. Sounds pretty simple. <laughs> but that's a good question. Thank you, because I know some incentive programs are, they can be a little bit cumbersome depending on the region that you're dealing with. Uh, you know, and that's something that we're going to be speaking, you know, I love it when I can allude to something coming later Because uh, right after lunch, we're going to be having our Miami-Dade industry Mavericks panel uh, And we're going to be welcoming, uh, he was in the room for a, a while, I think he might still be around uh, Marco Hiron, who's our new film commissioner for Miami-Dade County That will be talking about some really exciting new live action incentives And what the work that Film Miami and the county is doing to incentivize the bigger productions uh, to Miami-Dade County again and he's working very hard to also streamline that process and make it easy for companies to apply and get involved. So, you know, if you come back at two o'clock, you, you might get even more than what you thought. Yeah. So you get a two for it. <laughs> well, one thing worth mentioning as well, yeah. Jill, uh, uh, and thanks for pointing with the question, uh, we are planning to have a workshop for employers. Yeah. Eventually, they were super busy putting this event together. So. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, the, 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 the plan is to have a workshop for all the industry to come to the workshop to actually see how everything works. Yeah. And we're also planning yeah. doing you know, workshops for the uh, 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 applicants, right. what it's like to interview for the animation industry. I do want to stress to make sure everybody understands, let's say again, it's a six month project or whatever. You're not waiting the six months to get reimbursed. Right. You're literally getting reimbursed in about five business days after you submit. You can submit as many times as you need to throughout that period. So, it's, you know, we try not to create any financial burden on anyone. We do want you to get the savings right up top because we want you to reinvest. Yeah. Well, that, that's really important because the turnaround time is crucial in production for sure. Well, guys, I think, uh, I think that's our animation summit. So thank you all for joining us. Thank you for our amazing panel, uh, speakers today, and, and again, you know, feel free to follow up with us directly uh, at uh, MMFM and through Creators Miami. But uh, yeah, look out for, as Mauricio mentioned, those workshops. They'll be going out in emails hopefully very soon after the conference. So we're gonna we're gonna get in the weeds and roll up our sleeves and and make some magic. How's that? <laughs>